So, I was playing this guy Johnny, and I wasn't playing well this game. I wasn't doing anything to stop Joey Bosa just running off the edge every play to my quarterback, and on defense, I hadn't figured out his offense yet. They are up 20 0. Johnny decides to showboat and go for two, which ticked me off, so I was focused at that point. That was a wake up call for me, and I was ready to mount a comeback. But EA servers had something else in mind, which was to cause a disconnect. So I load up into another game, and guess who it is? Here's Johnny! Revenge is a dish best served in a rematch. This game, I've got to win, or else you know I can't let him win two in a row against me on me like that. Jared, cover all of his receivers. He's going to scramble with Herbert. Here, just roll out. Let us slant across the entire field because AI can't defend that. Something Madden players love doing. There, see I messed up. I had vertical on Keenan Allen and I just played too far over the top and couldn't t get down on the outbreak fast enough. Your first and goal. He's going to drop back with Justin Herbert. And we've got two defenders sitting there in the flat and neither of them run up to tackle Herbert. So he runs in for a touchdown. And we all know Johnny. Johnny loves the showboat. Going for two again on his opening drive. This time I'm ready for him rolling out with Herbert. So I get over to my user and he just throws blindly back across the field and throws an interception. Fortunately we weren't able to get a return off of that. We're starting out on offense, we're going through a wide receiver screen and we just can't get wide enough and up the field fast enough. Here, counter Trey. Again, don't get much out of that. We are running right at Bosa. Brings up third and eight. Go with Y Sale there. Again, Bosa getting pressure on the quarterback. I still haven't made any adjustments to stop that yet. So fourth and three. I'm going to go for it here. And get the corner out wide open on Mesh. Not wide open, but he was open. Run jet sweep. Get the perimeter and turn up field. Here I just checked a run play. I messed up my audibles before the game. I meant to have an RPO there instead of a gap scheme run. His user was there, but he wasn't in position to make a play on the ball, so that was a safe throw. Here I'm going to run mesh post wheel. First and goal, I'm going to run Y sail. Just hit the back in the flat, pick up some yards. Brings up second and goal here. I'm going to kind of come out and counter trade. I'm going to check to RPO bubble play there. Just throw the bubble and get into end zone with Kiki QT. So we take the lead 7 6. There you see, I actually messed up my assignment. I should have uh, gone with number two vertical there. I wind up bracketing uh, number one vertical, though, on the post route, and he throws it right to me, and I take the ball away. Just a big arm punt on first down. Now here I'm going to run mesh from 3 by one Get my tight end, pick up some yards, brings up second and two. Here's an RPO stick play. He tries to shoot the gap with his user but misses. Here we're going to go some no huddle. I'm going to check the same RPO stick play because he shot the gap last time with the pass read. People usually don't do that, so the stick's rarely open, but that time I was ready for it. Threw the stick and picked up the first. Here, uh, RPO screenplay. We're going to hand that off and pick up some yards. And run RPO here. Brings up third and in inches. 
There you see I'm going to throw out some fake hot routes to make him think it's a pass play. Then I'm just going to hand the ball off and run it up the middle. Here I'm going to come out with uh, 66 which is your outside hitches or hitch seams. And this is a really risky throw. We're throwing right at uh, Derwin James there. We're able to possession catch that and come down with it in the end zone. We go up 14 to 6 now on Johnny. Ooh, that was almost a pick. Just need my guy to get there a little faster so he can get his hands on that. See, that's actually how you're supposed to be throwing slants on the stick play, not waiting for them to cross the entire field. So good job to Johnny on that one. Here he tries to take up a shot one to one on keep with Keenan Allen. And it gets broken up. Comes out an empty bunch play. Just throwing it up deep to Mike Williams. That gets broken up. He's up third and ten. I'm gonna come out here and cover nine. Ooh, that was right at my user. I had a chance to pick that one off. There you see. Uh, fourth and ten, I'm going to make sure to QB spy so he can't run with Herbert for the first. That winds up being an arm punt, but we get a really good return off of it. Almost the line of scrimmage. I'd prefer just to drop it, but it is what it is. Here, come out with a swing pass. And if you see them switching on to a guy out there in the flat, you shouldn't force that ball. They're just going to be able to pick it off. It's too risky of a play for how little you'll gain on it. Best thing there to do is usually just take off and run with your quarterback. The ideal way you would run that play is you have something on the back side of the play on that solo side receiver like either a gift route or a slant. It's something that you can auto check to. There, 17 seconds left in the half and he hits Keenan Allen on a corner route for a touchdown. Here I'm going to come out with a draw play to see if what, if, what I can get and pick up 10 yards. So I'm going to try and mount a drive and get into field goal range. Here, double team Bosa. And here I'm just going to run sail. I'm hoping to get my either my back or that out route and get out of bounds quickly. Got the back. Going to get out of bounds and pick up a few yards. But now only 8 seconds left so we've got to get a chunk play to get into field goal range. Here, I still don't like what he's showing, so I'm going to check the mesh. Catch it, get out of bounds, five seconds left. Now, we don't need a whole lot to get, have a shot at a long field goal, but we've got to be mindful of the five seconds left. There, I'm going to throw a slant, and that would have put me in field goal range. Unfortunately, I got held up at the end and couldn't get down in time. Now, starting on the third quarter, Going to come out with 95 wide cross, tag it with an 8 shallow, swing the back out to replace the shallow. And here, looking for a series X, then the cross, then the back in the flat. Uh, no one's there to stop him. We make some guys miss and we'll pick up a big chunk of yards. Let's go no huddle, keep our foot on the gas. We're on double team the end man on the line. There, unfortunately, our wide receiver couldn't hold his block long enough, so we get tackled for a loss. Here, coming out with 94 wide sail. Double team Bosa again. Really shouldn't be backing that or backing up that much with Davis Mills because he doesn't have the arm strength. But you want to have as short as throw as possible with him. Here, going with mesh post wheel again. Double team Bosa. Kiki QT gets lit up on that. I almost broke that one off. Here, going to check the mesh. Double team Bosa. Here, I kind of just drop back and roll away from Bosa because he's the, still the biggest threat. And we 
hit Brandon Cooks on the dig and he takes it in for a touchdown. So we're going to go up 21-13. Here he comes out in pistol bunch. Can take a shot up to Keenan Allen. But we swatted away. Almost had the pick, but this guy catches it and picks up some yards after the catch. If he'd been looking on the side of the field I was using, he would have seen the corner route wide open too. Messed up and got tangled up with my guys on that play. Here. He really likes forcing that ball to Keenan Allen. Third and two, I'm going to try and press and bring my guys up close to the line of scrimmage. Just jam them at the line and not give them free releases. Mary Keenan Allen crossing underneath again. He gets him and picks up some yards after the catch. He had two guys he could have scored with on that play. Going for two again, trying to make it, uh, or trying to tie it up rather here. He throws into a bunch of traffic and comes down with it. So back out on offense, we want to come out here with a four verticals play with an auto motion by the halfback. My thought process here was last time I ran the auto motion with the halfback swing route, he jumped down on it. I wanted to see if he jumped down on the halfback there and I could hit one of those seam routes. He didn't though, he, this time he dropped back into coverage, but the auto motion cleared out the whole left side of the field and left the solo receiver on a slant wide open. So I just hit him there and picked up some yards. Tried to run a jet sweep, but that time I was directly into Bosa and he was able to tackle me. Second and 10, I'm just going to hand it off to my back and we get the fall forward animation and pick up a ridiculous amount of yards. Shallow cross here, double team Bosa, slide in his direction. That time he did something interesting, which is trying to use her Bosa and drop back into coverage, which wouldn't be my choice. If I was going to use her D lineman and drop him back into coverage, it wouldn't be Bosa. Bosa is the guy you want rushing the quarterback every single play. Here, wide corner. Get the corner out wide open, and we're going to run in, and we get stopped just short of the end zone. First and goal from the two. Just run no huddle, don't give him time to adjust here. And check the wide stick from two by two. I'm gonna throw it to the back in the flat and pick up the touchdown. We're gonna go up 28-21. a little over three minutes left in the fourth. He checks it down to his back and picks up a big gain after the catch. He just throws that away. Brings up second and ten. And he tries to force the ball into flat for minimal gain. It's tipped up in the air and we're going to take it back for six. It's 35-21. Let's go. Yeah, right, crossing around. I just get caught up on my own lineman there, trying to switch it to uh, defenders. If he throw in the crossing routes earlier, he could have had it. He throws it late, and we get the breakup. Halfback slip screen, he's just trying to pick up some yards now, down two possessions. And time is very much a factor. Here it just tries to throw the ball up late down the seam, which is not what you want to do against cover three. If you're going to throw it down the seam, you want to throw it early. If you throw it late, the safety can get there. And that is going to be it for this game. After showboating in that first game, Johnny gets run off his own field. Let's go! Davis Mills stats 
four touchdowns, that one pick, a 276 passing, almost a perfect day for him. That's going to be it for this video. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream.